the universe has infinite power, he can control all, everything in the world cannot be separated from him, including you and I are no exception. This force is called the law of attraction, the universe can give you everything you can't imagine. If you want to use this power to change your life, let it bring you wealth, happiness, health, positivity, optimism, hope, love and so on. Watch Change Your Life Action, the YouTube channel, which allows you to get everything you want, watch immediately. Remember to subscribe to YouTube channel. It's best to click on this bell-shaped icon, so that you're the first to receive a new video. It can make a perfect change in your life. Let's start watching now, today's title is The first time I tested the law of attraction it freaked me the h asterisk ll out before I write any more, let me say I'm more conventional than this post may lead you to believe. I'm not into voodoo or the occult. I simply believe, like a mirror, life reflects back to me what I project. As a natural result of that outlook, I was pretty curious the first time I heard about the law of attraction. I decided to check that thing out. I put it to the test, and I was nearly blown over by the results. Seriously I was speechless. So. I thought I would try this law of attraction thing and see what would happen. I was going to attract something into my life that day. I gave it a moment's thought. Daffodils popped into my head, so I went through the mental steps of affirming that someone would bring me a daffodil that day. I affirmed it like I knew it to be true, I gave thanks for the gift I knew I was going to receive, and then I went about my day just like any other day. I was practicing chiropractic at the time. It was 2006. My last patient of the morning shift came in holding an 8 by 11 inch photograph behind her back. She had printed it earlier in the day. Denise came over to me and said, I saw this online today, and I printed it for you. When I saw it, I thought of you. I reached for the photograph and it was a picture of a hillside of daffodils. Wow. Literally thousands of yellow, blooming, daffodils. My jaw just about hit the floor, and I was speechless for a moment. She was just as awestruck when I told her my experiment for the day. I saved that photo, and it's a reminder to me of the power of the law of attraction. Not only had I received a daffodil that day, I received thousands of them. I was amazed. I was also officially freaked out. Last summer I thought it would be fun to anchor a swim float out on the lake. I saw how expensive the new ones are, plus I'm a big believer in reduce reuse recycle, so I put out the word via the law of attraction that I wanted a used one. I knew a swim float would find us. Guess what floated up to our shore two days later? A swim float that had broken free of its chain. We did the dutiful thing and asked neighbors if anyone had lost theirs. Turns out it was our neighbors, and she made plans to have it picked up. Until, dot she called back an hour later to say she changed her mind and we could keep it if we wanted. Officially freaked out again. In the years between, I used the law of attraction to fill needs and desires big and small. An affordable home for myself and my two children, a buyer for my chiropractic practice, and over 1,000 prom gowns to fill my non-profit to name a few. I even invoked the law of attraction for my husband. He likes to joke that he had no choice in the matter. I believe in the law of attraction, I've seen it work, so why does it scare me? It scares me because it shows me what's possible. That there's no limit to what I can do, and that terrifies me. It reminds me of the Marianne Williamson writing about being afraid of our own greatness. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. 
and as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson If I create great things, will I feel overwhelmed? What will people expect from me? What if I fail? What if I count on the law of attraction and it lets me down? Do I deserve to ask for big things? All these thoughts enter my mind. All these limiting thoughts I should say. The thing is, the law of attraction is always working whether I'm doing it with purpose or not. When I think those limiting thoughts, I get limited results. I like to think the law of attraction is more than just submitting a shopping list of material desires to the universe. Yes, I want my material needs met, but just as importantly, I have needs for my growth, development health, and well-being. The law of attraction can be used to attract a sense of peace, or wisdom about a situation, or a sense of freedom from something I've been unwilling to release. It can be used to attract well-being or physical health and endurance. It can be used for safety or for positive experiences. As I connect with the one, all-knowing, all-loving and ever-present universal intelligence God if you will, I open myself to unlimited possibilities. Any of us can connect to this source of unlimited supply at any time and from any place. It deserves repeating, unlimited. It's not limited by age, race, gender, nation, language, or social class. It's not limited by time or distance. It doesn't run out of stock like a great sale at your local store. Asking for my or your needs to be met don't take away from another person's supply. All these years later, I've proven the results of the law of attraction so many times that I have no doubt it's how the universe works. The law of gravity doesn't take a day off, right? Neither does the law of attraction. Do I instantly and effortlessly draw all my desires to me? The answer is no. Sometimes I'm unwilling to give things enough time. Sometimes I give conflicting messages about what I want. Sometimes I fail to be specific about my request, or I'm not committed to putting in the work for the goal. Sometimes it becomes clear that what I'm asking for just isn't the right thing at that time and another solution appears. Let me add here that I am constantly aware that it's God's will and not my own that's in operation. There's an important distinction between trusting a loving and generous universe to supply me with my needs versus forcing things with my human will. It's also not my job to dictate the why, the when, or the how. I make my request and then I release it. Maybe you've been doing it too, and you don't even realize it. Have you ever started thinking about a friend you haven't talked to in a long time, and then later that day you hear from them? Give it a try and experiment with manifesting something small. This exercise is great, because you can start small, but don't stay small. The universe is loving and generous, and its supply is unlimited. Here it goes. 1. Quietly reflect on what you'd like to manifest. Only do this for a minute or two, and don't overthink it. If something pops into your thought, go with it. Be specific, so that there will be no doubt when it appears. 2. Make an affirmative sentence like, I'll attract, to me today, or, I will receive. Keep this thought silent or say it aloud only to yourself. 3. With a peaceful and calm confidence, know that it's already on its way. See this photo? That's what you look like when you have peaceful, calm confidence. 4. Feel gratitude for its appearance. Feel the gratitude now, before you see any physical evidence. 5. Go about your day. I want you to witness this law in action. When you see the results, share your story in the comments. Do you want your life to be better and better? Do you want your finances to be stable? Do you want to find an ideal lover? I believe that you always want to have both career and love. Have you found solution yet? We already have the answer for you. All the answers are for you. Click on the link in the description below my video. Click here, show more. To see more details description. All you need is here. Subscribe to our channel, you'll be the first to receive the latest video, and click on the link in the description below the video to find your own answer.
I believe the valuable answer will change your life. That's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment. If you find it interesting, bye, and see you again in the next videos.